What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video. Today we're talking Canon R3. I had it over there. When did the R6 get there? I thought it was the R3. That, that's a mind fuck. Liquid death, murder your thirst. That's the, that's awesome. It's not sponsored by the way, by these guys. Dude, this looks like a Guinness. If you were driving in a truck, whatever you drive, and like a cop went by and you're like, what's up, man? He would stop you for sure. And then you'd be like, it's water, bro. Move along. <laughs> this hat will probably get me pulled over. <laughs> All right, this is the new Canon R3. It's enhanced. The last time we made this video, I told you I didn't have it yet, but when I did, I would let you know. Do you have an R3? Pete's probably already got an R3. Would you use it as your daily? I'm sure any day now or any week, maybe this month I'll get one in my hands. I am letting you know. This is the first, I got it two days ago. I have it for like three weeks to, to make some videos with. So the only experience I have is about an hour that I messed around with Kirk because I've got two. <laughs> so we were both messing around with some autofocus settings, seeing how fast the shutter was, checking out what's new, size comparisons to the 1DX Mark II, all those things. Disclaimer, I'm not actually allowed to show you any footage yet or photos yet. That's kind of what this is. I just wanted to make this a place where if you have any questions about this camera or things you want to see in my full review or the full video, leave them below. Like pause right now and ask your questions about the Canon R3. First things first, the texture on the camera is great. It looks new, it looks modern, it feels good, it's got a good grip to it, it's not too sticky, but I'm a, I'm a big fan of what they've done there. I shot on this camera for years, I vlogged on this camera for years, and right off the bat, getting this into your hands, it's kind of like a miniaturized version of the 1DX Mark II in, in every way. You'll notice the 1DX Mark II has a big hump on the back. The grip is a little dated as far as like the texture goes. Now comparing it to the new R3, holding them side by side there, you can see it's quite a bit smaller and it's quite a bit lighter too. I would say it's half the weight, but it is double the size of a Canon R5. So here's an R5 with a 15 to 35. And here's the R3 with a 15 to 35. You can see it's, it's quite a bit larger. It's by no means a small camera. If, if you were trying to downsize like I was and go to a small mirrorless setup, when you go back to this, like you are back in it. You are back in the thick of things. Additional grip with additional shutter and all those things, the same features, okay? Looking at the back of the 1DX Mark II, changes that have been made. The memory card door with this little boop. I loved that. That was so much fun to Dude, that's gone now. Now you've got the same kind of door that the R5 or the R6 has with the CFast Express slot, bam, and an SD slot just like the R5. Now one of the biggest changes on the new R3 is of course the flip LCD. It's the one thing I wanted on the 1DX series so bad. So now that it's here, that's great. I wish it was here in 2017, 2018, in the, in the glory days. Ha! <laughs> Finally, I think the flip LCD is much welcomed in a pro camera. Not to mention you're just taking photos and you're holding it up high and you just want to see what you're doing. Like that's, it's a it's a handy, we all know. Cool little feature up top that you'll notice is this little hot shoe cover. So if you're shooting in the elements and it gets weird outside, slides off, exposes your hot shoe, slide that back on. 99% uh, of people will probably end up losing that. And we'll take a quick minute to thank our sponsor for today's video, which is Squarespace. It's a, uh, it's good to have you back. It's good to be back. Just uh, don't touch the R3. I'm actually making a website about the R3. Why would you make a website about the R3? Why wouldn't I? It's just Squarespace is uh... It's an all-in-one platform. Easy to use. Beautiful, award-winning templates. You know these things. That's that's all true. It just doesn't really make sense for you taking the R3 because... Because I can make a beautiful image gallery. But you, you can't actually show the images. Well, I'll podcast about all the features then. Maybe I'll take photos of it. I'll sell those on my online store. Why would you take photos of it? Because I can make a gallery online easily. Yeah, I, I'm I'm just not seeing the connection. All you need is an online connection. Eh? You'll be making websites in no time. They've also got great customer service. It's 24-7. So we're back, uh back to the website now, not the R3. You've never understood me. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say never. I, I don't, we don't really see eye to eye to eye necessarily all of the time. You know, you cost people money. I save the money, all right? I, I have missed you though. 10% off your first purchase or your you know, recurring purchase using code McKinnon at checkout. I can do that for them, for you. Okay, get out. 
10% off is, is pretty good. So link in the description below. This thing is, a, is apparently built for speed. So obviously one of the first things I did was whipped it open, put the drive mode to high speed, set the shutter to electronic shutter, fired away and to my surprise, That's 30 frames per second. That's fast. It's absolutely ridiculously fast. It's it's video. I mean, so with the new car tracking, vehicle tracking, people tracking, animal tracking, with that kind of speed of autofocus where it's just blasting away, I don't know how you would miss the shot. You throw it in servo, track it up, bam, 30 frames per second. You can't miss. Change it over to mechanical. Still quite fast then you actually have the shutter moving so you get that haptic feedback where on the electronic shutter mode it's just coming through this speaker here silent function this is what that sounds like it's doing 30 frames per second right now absolutely silent so from the days when i was shooting weddings with a 5d mark ii and a 5d mark iii the silent features were pretty good but if someone picked it up it was still like a little creepy because you're like yo that guy's trying to hide his shutter now there is absolutely no sound, but you already had that in the R5. Now, one of the things I was super pumped to try out was the eye tracking. So much like setting up a new phone where you gotta like track your face and get that all set up, you gotta do the same procedure through the viewfinder. So you look through it and it tells you to look left and right, kind of like you're at an optometrist. It reads your eyeball. When you're looking through the electronic viewfinder, it's placing a focus crosshair in the area that you're looking. So I didn't get a lot of time to extensively try that. I found that it kind of landed me in the area that I wanted to focus, but again, I spent probably less than 60 minutes messing around with this. So it takes the same LPE19 battery that you're used to if you have a 1DX or a 1DX3. So if you're gonna keep the camera or you have like a ton of them and you can sell the camera off, it still keeps some extras those will work. And that's pretty much all I'm allowed to actually show you. Uh, this was more of a just check it out. Here it is, it's real, it's in my hands. Let's make a community video. Let me know what you want below and uh, hopefully I can answer all of those things for you. That's it, it's done. We got like three weeks to make a cool video with the R3. What should we film? What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video. Today we're talking Canon R3. I had it over there. When did the R6 get there? I thought it was the R3. That, that's a mind fuck. And I don't only have one, I have, let's do a little, let's do a little Indiana Jones here. That was clever. Isn't he doing another one now? He's like 80. Dude is old. How is he gonna swing on a bullwhip? 